All right, so in the last episode, Jessica and Trish are trying to dig up more information on Salinger, who has been released from jail and will more than likely just get bond or bail or whatever if he is not guilty of the crimes, which he probably will appear to not be because he put some contingency plans for everyone. Um, so they decide that there is no point to fighting Salinger when he is in the same time as them. He, they need to go, uh, well not back in time, but they need to look into his past. And they go back to the town where he was raised and ask for the files on um, which, uh, what's that thing called? Which were stolen, I guess? Yeah. Valgum has nothing to give them. So, um, yeah. This is probably gonna be this like really fucked up scene. I don't think we're gonna see Salinger too much in this just because it seems like the fighting style that they're doing for this is that he goes back, he lunges forward, he doesn't just like brute force his way through it. He has to think everything out. So I guess we'll see if I can like learn to control that, but Otherwise, I guess I'm gonna be fluffy too, guys. So, yeah, let's get started. Jessica Jones, season three, episode eight, camera friendly. Let's get started. I know. <laughs> That's her concern. Her name should be Cat Lady. Aww, it's what she wanted. Spirit of vengeance. Look at her shirt. Ooh. Aw, is Malcolm gonna get fired? Damn. Oh no! Jerry, she's starting to turn all evil! Shouldn't she ask who he's filling in for? Hey, I need to get back to work. Wait in the hallway. I have more questions for you. Back to work? Continue watching TV. Oh shit, Jessica. You start disappearing. Hey. I'm still here. Oh. It's not a lower proposition. Oh, damn. That's cold. Just a little shush. No. You have to sell yourself, and this is part of it. But what's the tone? <laughs> she doesn't really like interacting with Jessica, but the opportunity to change how she looks gets her very excited. So I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Out there. Alleged. We're going live in five, four. Oh wow. Did not like that lady's tone. To help the police in their investigations. Maybe because I give a shit. So close. <laughs> she needs a little like earpiece and to have Trish like answer all her questions for her. <laughs> Damn, Jessica, too savage. So we need to monetize it. I am thinking action figures, video, maybe a reality show. Oh my God, Dorothy. Aw, oh, she's trying. Dorothy goes from being okay to being totally psycho so quickly. Be careful, Jones. 
Aw, he cares about what happens to Jessica. Oh, I was about to say dick too. Excuse me. Uh, can you just take a look at this photo, please? Have you seen this woman? They're just showing photos from behind, so I don't know how effective that would be. So they're willingly walking into a trap. Oh, they were pretty reasonable. They weren't even angry. <laughs> Oh, is his worm tank okay? Jessica spared the worms? Hey, they're okay! Oh, no they're not. What's he doing? Did Jessica finally fly? Whoa, what just happened? Is associating with the masked woman who assaulted my client. Oh, girl, what are you doing? The illegal activities of powered vigilantes. If Jessica Jones... The ones from unpowered ones are okay, huh? You can quote me on that. Oh, Jerry. I wish she'd make up her goddamn mind. Thanks. No! Oh, she called her her sister! Silver lining. What? Oh! Trisha's mom. Oh, she was... Oh, she was just trying to help. Oh. Aww, Briga Mortis has already set in. Oh man. And Jessica's just running now. Who's that? Wait, what? Oh, Trish. Wait, what? Oh god. That's the fuck that ending. It just ended. <laughs> All right. So obviously Jessica isn't going to let Trish kill Salinger or, you know, if she's not fast enough, he's not going to die this episode because there's still like, I don't know, five more, four more left or something. So that would be really weird if they just killed him now. Anyway, didn't really see that coming with Dorothy dying and all. And ooh, it was so bloody and gruesome. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. And just when she was like, I don't know, get I would say getting normal, but she, her character fluctuates so quickly. Um, I guess she's consistent in that too, just always doing what she considers is either the best for her or her daughter but you know she was cool this episode this episode was the only praise she's ever given jessica there was like that one like kind of heart to heart thing that they had when they were like in the hospital waiting to see if trish would wake up but that went from praise to insult literally in less than like three minutes it was just like enough time to say what she wanted to say and then as soon as trish was involved it was like and fuck you jessica get out <laughs> so like this is the longest she's just consistently been trying to help and i got her killed so you know but hey, <laughs> at least now it's like, Jessica can't say anything about how Trish killed her mom. Because now it's like, my mom's dead too. Yay. <laughs>
So now I, I think they're even. I don't think Jessica's really gonna bring it up anymore. Um, let's see. Jerry Hogarth is still a piece of shit. That is not changing anytime soon. I think this is just a downward spiral. I feel like each season, Jerry has the same just steps that her character need to take. It's always a stage of overconfidence, then followed by something that happens that, like, brings her back down to earth, humbles her enough to share some type of actual feelings with, oh, you're doing this, like, you're doing so great this far, Jerry. Then it just, it continues on from the first one, and it's like, way more confidence than she had at the beginning of the show. And then it just keeps going, and, and it always, like, ends up being, like, for the wrong reason. So in this one, it's like, she's prote protecting Salinger. <laughs> she's like, my firm isn't failing. Whatever. I don't care. And then the, the moment, I feel like the moment of escalation for this phase is coming, where it's like, she already ruined Kith's life. Kith told her to leave her alone. And now she feels like she's on top of the world because she's telling Jessica off and giving her own statements instead of facing her problems. So of course, until everything comes crashing, th this is just a snowball. So next, I feel like she's going to try bothering Kith again. I don't know how miserably that's going to end. Um, yeah, I... I know we're, like, supposed to feel bad for her because she's dying and life is hard for her. But she's also a dick, so it's like... Yeah. I don't know. We will see. Hopefully, Kith won't fall victim again to Jerry Hogarth because... Nothing good ever comes from being in a relationship with Jerry Hogarth. And this is the second time in a row that Jerry... Uh, um, indirectly got someone's uh, partner killed. <laughs> so that she can kind of get her revenge. She never learns. Poor Jerry. Anyway... So, yeah, a lot happened in this episode. I'm pretty excited to see the next one, but let me know what you guys thought. And that's basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, everyone. Letty here. Just trying on another outfit for my winter of workout wear try-on haul, February 2020. And if you want to see me work out while wearing this bowl riding outfit then you can go ahead and vote for it by checking out that video down there. Bye.